Welcome, everyone, to a journey through the incredible world of Greek mythology. In the beginning, there was only chaos, a dark, swirling void without form or substance. But out of that chaos emerged two primeval forces, Gia, the goddess of the earth, and Uranus, the god of the sky. Gia and Uranus were the parents of the Titans, a race of enormous, powerful beings who ruled over the universe before the gods. The Titans were born with incredible strength and abilities, but they were also prone to infighting and struggled to maintain order in the universe. Uranus, in particular, was a cruel and neglectful father, banishing some of his children to the underworld and refusing to allow others to see the light of day. This mistreatment did not sit well with Gia, who decided to take matters into her own hands. She enlisted the help of her son Cronus, one of the Titans, and urged him to overthrow Uranus and take his place as the ruler of the universe. Cronus agreed, and with the help of his brothers, he managed to overthrow Uranus and become the new king. However, Cronus was not a particularly responsible ruler. In fact, he was downright paranoid about losing his power. To ensure that none of his own children would overthrow him, he swallowed them whole as soon as they were born. This strategy worked for a while, but eventually, Cronus's wife Rhea grew tired of seeing her children devoured by their father. She secretly gave birth to a son named Zeus and hid him away on the island of Crete. When Zeus was older, he returned to his father's palace and pretended to be one of his siblings. He convinced Cronus to drink a potion that caused him to regurgitate all of his children, including the stone that Zeus had substituted for himself. With the help of Gia and other allies, Zeus waged a brutal war against Cronus and the Titans. In the end, Zeus emerged victorious, casting Cronus and the Titans into the depths of Tartarus, the underworld. Zeus then became the king of the gods and ruler of the universe, ushering in a new era of order and stability. After Zeus became the king of the gods, he and his siblings divided up the universe. Zeus became the god of the sky and thunder, Poseidon became the god of the sea, and Hades became the god of the underworld. The other gods and goddesses each had their own realms of influence as well. The new gods created humans as a tribute to the titans and as a race to worship them. Prometheus, a titan who had fought on the side of Zeus during the war, helped create humans by shaping them out of clay. Prometheus also gave humans the gift of fire, which allowed them to cook food, keep warm, and create tools. However, Zeus became angry with humans when they began to challenge the power of the gods. To punish them, he ordered Prometheus to be chained to a rock and have his liver eaten by an eagle every day for eternity. Zeus also sent Pandora to Earth, who brought with her a jar full of evils, which she unleashed upon the world. Despite this punishment, humans continued to thrive and even develop their own civilizations. The gods and goddesses continued to intervene in human affairs, sometimes helping them and sometimes punishing them. And thus began the rich and complex mythology of ancient Greece, full of epic battles, magical creatures, and unforgettable heroes and heroines. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon, so you never miss an episode of our Greek mythology series. So be sure to subscribe to Fun Facts HQ and turn on notifications.